What's up guys and welcome back to On The Brick with another custom LEGO review. If you've been watching this channel for any length of time, then you undoubtedly know that I am a huge fan of Star Wars. But, it's not the only thing I like. In fact, there are a few other franchises that I like more which just don't have LEGO sets about them. But one thing that I have always loved are mechs and robots. And not so much the types of mechs that you would see in Alien or in that last really bad Matrix movie whose name I'm forgetting right now. While I do like the aesthetics of those, I much prefer mechs or robots that are highly specified for some reason. And what I mean by that is a robot that has one specific task and you can see what that is in the design of the robot itself. I have a few robot slash mech builds coming up, but I wanted to start with a very, very real world example here. So what you've been seeing spinning in the background is the robot known as Spot from Boston Dynamics. Now you probably know who they are as those people that constantly beat up robots and will surely lead to the robot revolution in the future. Or maybe you've seen them famously parodied from one of my favorite YouTube channels, Corridor Digital, in their Boss Town Dynamics video. But the work that Boston Dynamics has done is absolutely incredible and their builds and designs will surely lead to better robots and mechs in the future like the ones that I envision. So while the two builds I've been showing on screen are anything overly spectacular, obviously they're not thousands of pieces or giant builds or anything, the significance behind them cannot be understated. These robots and builds have a ton of different functions and one of them, obviously, is to be able to pull things. This was famously done by Adam Savage of Mythbusters fame when he built his rickshaw to be pulled by Spot. You can watch that video in the description down below of course. And shortly after that video was released, Reddit user Steam Paul recreated the build in LEGO. He does include the free instructions in his post, so of course I'll be linking that down below as well. This particular build is very close to minifig scale, it is slightly too small, but I'll show you what I mean in just a second. This build only contains 86 pieces in all as well. There is minimal functionality here, you can move the legs back and forth, all four of them, and of course the rickshaw does actually move. I also want to take a quick second to point out that that light blue piece you see in the back is not how it's supposed to come, I just didn't have a trans clear one. Now, despite my best efforts, I unfortunately could not find a custom LEGO version of Adam Savage, probably because he made a life-size minifigure, so whenever you type in Adam Savage minifigure, you get that instead. So instead, here is a completely random figure, which was definitely the wrong choice for this, as... Obviously, this wasn't built for someone with a helmet to be sitting in. So if I take the helmet off like you're supposed to, you can also tell that it's still not that easy to get a figure in. You basically have to take the full top off. Thankfully, this isn't like a super complicated build. Popping that top off and on again is really easy to do. But once I finish struggling here, you can see that it barely fits, and any figure with hair probably doesn't fit inside of this, at least not comfortably. Overall, this is a nice little build, albeit one that is definitely meant for display. But then recently, I came across a designer whose name is R.H. Good. It's a little different on Reprickable and Instagram, but it's R.H. Good. And he designed a much bigger version of Spot. This is by no means minifig scale, this is much too large for that. But in my opinion, I like the look of this one a lot better than the last one. There was nothing wrong with the smaller version, I just like how this one looks more. The instructions for this are also free and they are linked down below as well, but there is one thing I need to point out. The black arm that you see on top is not included in the instructions. I didn't actually know that RH Good was making instructions for this, so I kind of just reverse engineered it off of the various pictures that I saw. In all fairness though, the top of this is not very difficult to recreate if you decide to do so, and it is a little more accurate for how Spot is. At least this configuration of him. You can really switch it in and out if you want to, it's not that hard. One thing I like more about this version is that the legs do have more movement, like Spot. You can move them in and out or closer and further from the body, and you can make them walk as well, which does allow you to pose this more dynamically if you're so inclined. 
If you build this arm, there is a lot of motion in it. You can really move this thing around and pose it in a bunch of different ways. And although I don't show it, the claw at the end is absolutely capable of picking up certain things. Without the black arm, this build contains only 43 pieces, and if you decide to buy the black arm, it contains about 56 or so, really depends on how you make this. I'm really excited for what creations like Spot can do in the future, and obviously this isn't the only thing that Boston Dynamics has worked on, but it's really exciting to think of the possibilities. I know these particular builds weren't anything too exciting, but I still would love to know your thoughts in the comments down below, and I have some really exciting things on the way. If you're excited to see what those are, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe, and maybe even ring that bell so you can be notified when they come out. If you would like to support the channel just a little bit more, you can always consider going to my Patreon, where you can join all of these wonderful people on screen. I really appreciate all the continued contributions from these guys, especially people like Jonathan and Project Elements. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you next time.